Cause I am beautiful No matter what they say Not the Victoria's Secret perfume Oh, oh, as a microphone Words can bring me down No, no, yeah Yes or no? <laughs> so don't you bring me down today I could have sworn they sang that in glee and if they did it must have been a black woman I am beautiful no matter what they I can hear that with a black woman anyways let me stop it hi everyone <laughs> not me looking at my mirror while singing it bitch as, you, as I should because I definitely wasn't feeling like this yesterday so don't you hear me now can you tell I'm that annoying friend I don't know what to tell you what is up guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new hi it's keisha which i look like i'm running for president <laughs> president i mean prime minister i'm from the uk <laughs> sometimes i just forget because the content that i consume a lot is american content so i think i'm actually out in america but then i know i probably would never ever move to america let alone go to america i say this now and then what a year's time hi guys i moved to la <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm really hyper and it's literally 11 in the morning. I can't make this up. I wish I could. I'm happy that I'm in a better energy because I'm truly, truly, truly going through something. Once upon a time, I used to be so consistent on YouTube. I was pumping out content left, right, center. Bada bing, boom, bada bing, You guys are probably sick of me, but you loved it. I loved it. It was a fun time. And I want to get back to that. I feel like, without going into too much detail, heartbreak is the ghetto. Like, I don't wish that upon anyone. I'm just trying to truly distract myself get back into your routine and not give my energy to the wrong things and people but more so to you guys the ones who truly love me rock with me and you know get back into my passion which is truly just chatting to you guys entertaining you guys if you guys want to see a certain video from me just comment it down below i am open to video suggestions also go and slide into my dms give me some video ideas connect with me i love chatting with you guys and i do follow people back especially if your feed is banging and you look good bitch what do i look like not following I double dare you. Yes, you right now watching this video. Go and follow me on Instagram. It's Keisha underscore. I also have a spam account. I can't actually like verbally say it because it is quite explicit. Where is it? I'll leave it down below in the description. You guys can go follow me. You have to be. Listen, not anyone can just get a part of this gang. You have to actually request a follow and then I have to go on your account and actually click accept all the class. So today we're going to be talking about Kim Kardashian's crazy obsession with being skinny. I feel like it's mad. Is Kim Kardashian the first person to be obsessed with her weight? Absolutely not. Does she do it in a very toxic, dangerous way? Yes. Yes, and she has a huge platform. She's, I believe, one of the most followed people on Instagram on the planet. So if that comes responsibility and you think that by now she would know years into her career and knowing what it truly means to be famous and, and have attention. We're going to really get on into this conversation because I've written down, and when I mean a bunch of notes, bro, I probably put more thought and effort into this than I have any school project. And that it doesn't stop there, by the way. Oh, wait. You thought I was finished? Today's conversation may be triggering for some people. I understand if you guys want to sit this one out. I just want to be able to have a constructive conversation about something actually meaningful. Because you guys know me. Listen, I love me a pop culture moment. I love me celebrity tea. Which one to FaceTime right now? Don't hang up. Don't hang up. I feel like it's good to kind of talk about important things that truly do affect a lot of people. Way more people than you can imagine. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm somebody, who, like my guilty pleasure is watching Keeping Up The Kardashians. I don't know what it is about them. I think there's something... In, in a way, as much as I find them to be very controversial and problematic when it comes to certain things, there is something quite entertaining about the show. And listen, it clearly isn't just me watching it because that show is still popular. Apparently, some of you guys love it too. <laughs> Who's going to put their hands up and say they love it too? I don't know. It's just like a weird thing that I like to do. It's just one hour of my day. I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. I don't take them too seriously. I just feel like I'm a nosy Parker who just loves to know, oh, so what is a day in the life of Kim? What is it that Chris does? Like, I find it quite... Uh, in some ways maybe inspiring because i don't want to completely write them off and say oh my god they're this that and the other but there is something that keeps me infatuated that's for sure i think the number one thing is i'm just a nosy ass bitch with too much time in my hands kim looks skinny kim has been looking very skinny i don't know if you guys have been watching the show or seen any clips on the internet it's kind of been like a viral conversation kim kardashian causes more damage than she lets on at times the 41 year old socialite has said and done things throughout her career which has negative impacts on individuals for various reasons it seems that within the most recent years she's had this crazy obsession with looking tinier Let's rewind to 2018 when Kim Kardashian angered fans when she loved the idea of her sisters calling her anorexic and very skinny. Kim had posted a video on her Instagram story attending an event and her sister Kendall said, I don't think, wait, hold on, hold on. I love me a good Valley accent. I mean, it's kind of annoying. It's Trisha Paytas, a Valley accent. She's a, oh, sorry, she's a mom now. I shouldn't disrespect. Because apparently if I disrespect Trisha, I disrespect the baby. Shut up. This is what Kendall had to say. I don't think you're eating. You look skinny. No, sorry, you look so skinny. Wait, what was that, Kendall? 
No, like I'm really concerned. I don't think you're eating. What? Like you look so skinny. What? Oh my god, thank you. Kim loved the comment and egged her on to keep on going. Oh my god, thank you. Of course. Of course. What was that you said? I've never seen it. Okay, sorry, continue. Chloe chimed in and said, I've never seen a human being look so good. You're a walking Facetune doll. And Facetune being the editing app that is known and loved by millions of people on the goddamn planet. What was that you said? I've never seen Facetune. Okay, sorry, continue. Continue. I said I've never seen a human being. My purse is as tight as you. But it's Frozen like, yogurt what on you? You My are purse. a walking Facetune Listen to me. Doll. What? <laughs> my purse is as tiny as you. Oh my God. God. Have I ever used Facetune before? Never say never. Do you know what? I feel like I've used it as a joke once because I was like, do you know what? Everyone's on it. Let me go and see what Facetune is about. Because one thing about me, <laughs> I'm curious. If everyone's like talking about something, I want to know. I don't want to be left out. So I never like edited a picture or something and then put it on my page. Never. I've never done that. And I don't go crazy on Instagram like that, babes. Because I, my biggest fear is being called a catfish. Like, I know people's biggest fears are snakes being cheated on. My one is being called a catfish. Like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ah, it's not, ah, it's not happening. Sorry. Imagine this happened, though. If any of you guys have met me, I don't go up. No. What the f- Wait, are you for real? Kendall continued by saying, my purse is as tiny as you. Oh, what? So here in the UK, we our purse is like where we keep our cards and our money. But Americans call a purse like a handbag. Let me show you guys what I mean. Hold on. Sorry. So this is technically a purse. So Kim is as tiny as a purse. Like I know it's just a figure of speech, but it's like, bro, we need to... <laughs> Kim Kardashian was so overwhelmed with all the compliments and literally said, oh my God, the compliments. She said, you guys, I'm not that skinny. <laughs> and then Chloe said, Kimberly, I can literally see through you. Maybe some yeah. lettuce, different flavors of oxygen. Is that what you're saying? Okay, tell me more, guys. No, I, you, you guys, really I'm not that, that skinny. Kimberly, you're literally, I'm I, down I, I to 119 you. pounds. That's because you're muscle. Nothing. That's weird. That's a weird comment to make. Kim replied by saying, I'm down to 119 pounds, implying the number was on the heavier side. I will say, when I take out my hair extensions, I am less. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, I'm not even trying to be annoying, but like, she just strikes me as somebody who has a weight scale in literally every room. Mm, you know what, today's a Tuesday, 3 p.m. Let me go ahead and shut up. It's like, bro, like, if it's done in moderation, I could not care less. I would not be making a video about it. And then Chloe said, your hair extensions, your ass, your tits, everything, they're heavy because she's effing voluptuous. I will say, when I take out my hair extensions, I am less. So, I don't have them your in now. Your ass, your everything, like, you know, they're heavy because she... The left, she's like this, but she's anorexic here. Her arms yeah. are like pin thin, they're like my pinky. Here are a few responses to that particular Instagram story. Someone said, if someone says you look so skinny that they don't think you're eating, that is not a compliment. To gloat about that to your millions of followers, that are majority young girls is extremely disturbing. Someone said, I'm sorry, but Kim Kardashian filming her sister saying, I don't think you're eating, you're so skinny, and saying, oh my God, thank you. Is everything wrong with that effing woman? She is canceled. Someone said, Kim Kardashian being obsessed with her sisters telling her she's so skinny, she looks anorexic on her Instagram story, makes me want to throw my phone into outer space. <laughs> Let me come with you. Do you want to know? We all know Kim loves glitz and glams, looking good 24 seven, put together, but it's just not realistic. I think that, um, you know, what she's kind of doing better at, I would give them credit, J just, mm -hmm. What they're kind of doing a little bit better at, just a tiny bit, something that I feel like is a little bit more noticeable when watching the show, is I feel like they kind of do captivate these people in regular schmegular clothes, tracksuits, joggers, a plain white. Ugh, I hate, I hate the word wife beater. I feel like it's ridiculous. Like, why is a vest called a wife beater? What's interesting is the praise that she constantly received from a lot of women particularly in the industry i know regular women day to day have complimented kim kardashian for you know um popularizing curvaceous body types even though she clearly wasn't the first to do it people before her have done it and she isn't the only celebrity we've got beyonce we've got jennifer lopez people have praised her and we've got people like demi lovato so demi lovato revealed in 2014 that she was struggling with changes in her body such as weight gain but seeing her peer kim kardashian embody her curves has helped her to redefine what it is to be a beautiful woman okay so in the article demi lovato did also mention j-lo and beyonce i think at the time people felt that demi was only trying to i guess glorify kim kardashian more so than the others but i didn't 
I didn't really get that when reading the article. But yeah, I remember that being like a mini issue. We need to be careful what we're saying when talking about weight because I think it's always going to trigger groups of people. I mean, living on this planet, we're unfortunately accustomed to compare ourselves and beat ourselves up when we should really be celebrating our existence. Period poo. Like, it's as simple as that. But we all beat ourselves up at things and it's just like, babes, you're not ugly. You're really not. Your nose is not crooked. And even if it is crooked, bitch, okay keep crooking away like the flip like life goes on fast forward to 2019 met gala when the theme was camp now let me tell you this right now one thing about me hey <laughs> back in 2019 when i heard the theme was camp i was like okay if you don't do good today you just don't know how to dress i really feel like 2019 met gala was one of the best ones i feel like people really showed up and showed out people were experimenting people were really going big and just taking advantage of this theme i will admit though kim kardashian looked absolutely stunning she looked unreal no literally unreal i feel like she probably was one of the best dressed that night kim looked so uncomfortable in that corset i was watching the met gala video and i was like ain't no way if i don't sit down for dinner now you know why i'll be walking around mingling talking but I cannot hardly sit, so um, I can only like half sit. This look is called um, the wet look. Yeah. The waist, it just, it was non-existent. Like literally waist snatched. I was like, how are you going to swallow food at this event? I mean, with the portions they give out allegedly, which you don't need to do much or <laughs> You better make sure that you piss before you get in there. You ain't going to be able to go in the toilet either. I don't think I can put myself through that. I, I know, like, I can love fashion so much, but there are plenty more ways to have, like, a daring, campy look without going to the extremes of literally squeezing in my organs. She really did make it her mission to fit into this dress. She even attended a corset breathing class from Mr. Pell, who was a designer of the corset. That's how tight that ish was. Imagine having to go to breathing classes, A. Eh? Imagine that having to be an issue for you. A corset breathing class. Imagine being financially stable. <laughs> you don't even mind the fact that you're spending money on breathing classes. Unless that issue is free. Because you know what celebrities are like. You know, I'll do you a favor, you do me one by wearing my literal corset. <laughs> oh my god. Kim revealed that she couldn't sit down in her outfit at the Met Gala, let alone use the toilet for four hours. Okay, girl, bye. What? She said that it was all worth it though because she was like one of the most talked about people at the event. Thousands of commenters raged about how unrealistic her waist looked at the gala. Kim Kardashian's personal trainer came to her defense and said, to make things clear, number one, this dress is corseted. But number two, Kim trains her ass off six days a week. I'm trying to censor myself because the lady was swearing. She wakes up early AF and is dedicated. Three years later, Kim posted a picture showcasing her body fat because she felt that we should know. When I was researching for today's video and just looking for a bunch of examples, I didn't know about this particular example of her showing the world her body fat. She had the same body fat as an athlete. Oh, she said, so a year ago, my body fat percentage was 25% and now it's 18.8%, she said in the video. That would be considered an athlete category. Bitch, what business do we have knowing about your health? <laughs> Go and flex on your sisters. Go and flex on family, friends, people who truly would care to know this information because you guys are that close. But as the public, we're just looking like, okay, now do I have to go and measure my, do I have to go and measure my body fat? And if it's not like Kim's, yeesh. I'm laughing because Kim knows exactly what she's doing. Oversharing of something so personal is not only weird, but extremely triggering for those who struggle with self-esteem, body issues, as well as eating disorders and body dysmorphia. Why did it need to be shared with her over 300 million Instagram followers? Many of which I can imagine are young girls. By doing this, Kim has wrongly proven that to be in the top percentage of people in the entire world, you need to look like her, act like her, lose weight like her, or even have bones like her. It's especially worrying as just a day before this, she posted an Instagram story about the tummy tightening laser treatment she's recently undergone. Undergone. Naming the clinic and sharing its details. You see, this is where we talk about the whole beauty influencer and what it is that beauty influencers should be encouraged to do and maybe not do. And this is one of them. But when it comes to these treatments anyways, I'm like, mm, I'm kind of like, what, what's in that machine? Do you know? Have you used it on yourself? This is the woman who openly admitted in 2022 that she lost 16 pounds to fit into an iconic Marilyn Monroe dress for, you know, this year's Met Gala. After going on a three-week crash diet that sparked really painful psoriatic arthritis over all her body and hands. She said, I would wear a sauna twice a day, run on the treadmill, completely cut out all sugars and carbs and just eat the cleanest veggies and protein. You know, I was actually gonna say, imagine if someone said all of this to Kim, how would she react? But she'd probably love it and ask, oh my God, I should try it too. <laughs> One thing I do love about the Kardashians though, they be eating their salads. <laughs>
No, but seriously though, why is the face, the exact face that I make when it's time to eat my greens, when it's time to eat my salads? I just, I'm not a fan of it. I feel like I need to expand my taste buds and literally just eat it. This is the woman who publicly said in the interview with New York Times that she'd poop every single day if it made her look younger. And the thing is, she's not joking. Like, you know when some people say stuff, they're just being sarcastic. Like, you know if Jennifer Lawrence says something, it's just like, okay, like, okay, you're Jennifer Lawrence. I'm not gonna listen to you, you're Jennifer. There's a constant steam of unachievable and unbelievable goals by her, perhaps unknowingly for young women. She set herself out to be the trophy that women are starving themselves literally to be like. She single-handedly normalized and even encouraged this unhealthy never-ending obsession with weight loss and that I cannot respect. According to a range of sources, it was revealed Pete Davidson was not feeling Kim's strict diet and her crazy obsession with being skinny. I mean that relationship is finished. Wait, I no disrespect or anything but I gave it six months and I all right well looks like i owe you guys money well luckily we didn't place a bet on that because which i'll be losing oh my god well they lost like what nine months that was cute you know the comedian hates it and the 41 year old reality tv star does not eat her food during their outings and does not enjoy herself kim's obsession with becoming a size zero it's really taken over her life and turned her into a complete bore allegedly pete has said to an insider pete hates watching kim push food around her plate at parties or restaurants and just wishes she'd enjoy herself the source added now when it comes to sources i want to know who the source is otherwise i'm not sure if i believe it i can also believe that <laughs> let's talk about what it means to be beautiful it's constantly changing the purported ideal image of the 20s and 30s was the lean frame of a flapper girl in the 60s it was the blonde bombshell marilyn monroe figure embracing curves amid the era sexual revolution unsurprisingly the standards reverted to a slender supermodel like physique in the 90s and with the rise of social media sexy curves came back into style with surgical butt lifts and strength training to emulate the kardashians trademark look now amid speculations about kim kardashian's weight loss and the increasingly popularity of pilates 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 can you tell her to work out i heard normani say pilates helped her get her abs Pilates is a form of working out but like she prefers doing that. Even Lori, Lori Harvey. I'm gonna say Lori Hill. <laughs> Lori Hill. <laughs> Lori Harvey even likes there as well. Like I know Pilates have been very popular uh, within the last two years. So yeah. So search for the perfect body is endless, but this isn't new. Even in the era of body positivity, female beauty has been framed as a process requiring constant adjustments with the help of cosmetic injections and workout routines. And the burden has been placed on women to fix, groom, nip and tuck their imperfections. In today's case, ultra thinness is not possible for the vast majority of people. But regardless of what the look is, there's one thing body trends have in common. They fizzle as fast as they bubble up. I don't know who needs to hear this. And not only for women, like whilst we can go ahead and use the example of a woman, the same thing applies with men as well i just think that women i think it's more normal to talk about it amongst women it's more of a common thing but to say that men don't have body issues themselves it would be very wrong of me to say so hey everyone get in here you're welcome <laughs> if i knew people wanted to look like me yeah it would go to my ego a little bit can't even lie <laughs> also i don't think i'd be encouraging that type of conversation it's kind of just one of those things where it's like yeah i'm aware that people probably want to try and emulate my look and my appearance i want the kim you know uh, but I wouldn't encourage this kind of conversation. The thing is with the Kardashians, I don't think they're going to go away anytime soon. I've already been in the industry for like, if I'm not mistaken, over 15 years. So good luck trying to get rid of them kind of thing. That's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. I really want to know. Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys have a different take? Let me know. Also, make sure you guys smash the like button in today's video. I would appreciate it a lot. I did do quite a bit of research and I know that I'm probably going to have fun editing this video and just putting in some cute pictures and just making it very aesthetic. I say this now and that's what it was literally bland. I do have a couple of video ideas planned so just keep the bell on turn on the bell bitch like mm. and also if you think that you are smarter than me or not <laughs> because one thing about my youtube it's gonna tell me who's here and who's just dipping in and out <laughs> so make sure you guys stay loyal to them <laughs> one of the biggest red flags in the world is someone who's disloyal bitch be loyal <clears throat> i'm tired of talking i'll catch you guys real soon for a brand new video <laughs> bye